Hey, I just want to make a quick note before you edit your files. Make sure you back them up. Uh, copy, throw them somewhere else. If you want to throw them in the saves, whatever. If it's a backup, that's your original. If you mess up the game, something doesn't work, take that file, copy that back here, and overwrite it. Thank you. So Skyrim came out. You bought it on the PC. You're one of the 280,000 people playing it. But you're not quite happy with how it feels. Or you're new to the game and you want to customize it so that it feels like a good PC game instead of a lousy port. The game's great, but it needs a few things added to it to make it better. So I'm going to show you a walkthrough. You could go to Maximum PC, which this will all be linked under the video in the, sh in the notes. But uh, I'll show you how to do it because uh, they say, you know, we're here, but maybe somebody showing you might be easier for uh, novices. Uh, so what you need to do is go to your C drive and then wherever your games are installed for Steam. Um, normally it would be under program files, but for me I put them under games. Um, and then you go to your Steam apps to common. And then you find Skyrim right there. You open that up, you go to Skyrim again, and then you'll see Skyrim prefs. Now I've already filled them out, but I'll show you what it looks like to do it. Okay, there's a few that are major for me before I can play a game. Uh, those would be uh, mouth smoothing and how the mouse is set up on this game to where if you move it left and right and up and down, the speeds feel different, so those need to be set up as the same thing. Um, okay, so finding mouse smoothing. Uh, just scroll down until you see controls right here and then you'll go down and go down and you see mouse acceleration now it will look like this when you see it just erase that put a zero and then the next one is going to be at the bottom under controls which you could probably just add but I just added it to the bottom um, let's I'll show you what you just I'll have this in the notes you'll just copy it and throw it underneath controls like so I can delete this okay um, and then the next one is going to be on so that that will get your controls better that will get your mouth smoothing turned off and the scaling to be the same so that you don't get uh, faster left and right um, or slower left and right and different speeds between left and right and up and down alright the next one uh, you can just read through their web uh, their website of course um, but stuff like uh, the disable vertical sync would be a good one in in their uh, I'm sorry Lost train of thought. In their in their website, so vertical sync in in usually like Elder Scroll games or Fallout games, the vertical sync makes it feel like a, a type of mouth smoothing. But for this one, we need to we need to add something. So what we need to do is find display. So let's scroll down until we find display, or we can, of course, go to find. Type in display. <laughs> and it's not there. Oh wait, sorry. So let's go up. So there it is. So display right here. I'm pretty sure I probably already have this in here. So just scroll down until you see the bottom, which will be, it will be something that will be, uh, have a circle like this. Um, let's see. Right there, grass. Okay, so above grass, you're going to want to input right here this I preset interval equals zero, which I already have. Let's say if it wasn't there, it would look like this. All you do is hit enter, paste it, and that's it. Okay, um, there's some other ones like graphical tweaks, depending on how fast your video card is. Um, you can add, you know, better water effects and stuff like that. Um, I personally turned off floating markers. Um, let's see if I can find that. 
it, it gets kind of hard to look. You have to look through it a few times before you start seeing all this stuff. Or, of course, we could just search. So. Show float. Right there. I turned it off. Um, so that that that's make the game harder. But if you want the game to be a little easier, and for it to show you that stuff, you'd want to keep that on. All right. So a lot of people have been saying to edit this file, the Skyrim press in the the Steam file. But I've noticed that it doesn't work that well because if you see here, it says nine, you know, nine hundred by sixteen hundred. Well, that's not my display that I had it set at. So what we're going to do is save this. And I'm going to show you the other one you need to edit. Go out all the way. Go to your documents. Uh, scroll down to, it should be games or my games. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Games. Okay. Find Skyrim again. Open the Skyrim proofs here. Now if you look at this, it's going to have uh, a config set up to your actual card. You, you make sure you've run the game before and you set up what you're what you want it to be. So as I have a 570, it does a 570 and has all that stuff. And I've added all that other stuff, but I'm going to... I've added all the other additionals. Or let's go, let's just make sure that I have. So let's... First off, let's find the this one right here. Now, if it's not exact, you know, so it's like this. Okay, so I've added that. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Some of these might be a little different than yours because I've gone through and tweaked out, and I'll show you that as well. Um, tweaked out what the. Some people have said, you know, add these these uh, these numbers and it will make the game look better. Um, but it says download my file and do it. But don't download their file because you're going to have a different video card from them, and it's probably going to end up resetting everything anyway. So what you're going to want to do is do it yourself. All right. So now I'm completely uh, lost track of what I was thinking about. Okay. Here we go. I have controls right here. Let's add these. We'll cut those and we'll go find controls up here. I'll just throw that here. It's probably in the middle. Sorry, being a noob. Hold on. Okay, so it was that first one. Okay. So I have mouse acceleration turned off. Let's go ahead and add this here. Instead of adding it on later, we'll just add it right underneath there. I'm not sure if that's going to work because it says to do it a different way, but you know, let's just do it that way. Alright, and then so here we have. I, a couple things I've added on. Um, if you look here at the bottom of this uh, uh, Redditor who added this and it's on the Maximum PC site, um, you just take and copy this and you throw it underneath the bottom, the entire bottom of the whole thing. It'll have a water and you just add it onto the bottom and it's supposed to make the water effects look better. Um, let's see what else. Oh, the trees, the shadows. Uh, is another very good one you can add that will make the trees look a lot better. So we'll find that one too. Okay, so I'm just missing it. I'm blind. Um, but these will be zero when you look at them. So you just erase that, put it to one, and that's it. Um, trying to think of something else that I've done. I think that's about it. Oh, okay. So let's boot up the game and take a look at it and see how it looks. But yeah, make sure you save this. And um, then that will be good. Uh, you can, I'll put links to both these websites. This is for the math scaling, but I'll put this also in the notes um, that you just throw in the control. Um, they all say this, that you 
or I, I say you, you modify both of them. Oh, make sure you also make backup copies um, because you don't want to change something and then mess up the game and, and have it broken. Um, so, you know, make sure before you, you do any of these, uh, you, you make a backup copy. Uh, so hopefully, if you're doing this with the video, I edit this to where I, I say make a backup copy first. Okay, so let's start up the game. And we'll just take a look and see how it looks. Oh, I've also erased... I'll show you how to do that as well. The logo of the game. Let's, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So, go back to that first folder we went to. Which, for me, is games. Normally, for you, it would probably be under... Uh, program files, but you, the base of the Steam folder. Go to your Steam program, go to Steam apps, go to your name, and then Skyrim, right there, and um, data, and then video, and then this folder will actually have this in there. Just take that out, and that's it. That's all you need. Just copy it to your desktop, or or you know, just you could rename it. You could actually just do something like old, and then it will become unusable, and so I won't use it. And so when you start the game, hopefully this works. I would say just copy it out, but we'll try it. Okay, guys. So we're gonna start up Skyrim and just take a look real quick. We'll continue my game. There's another thing. People have been saying that uh, they took out 1 through 9. Um, either they patched this in and I didn't realize it, or no one's realized it. If you hit Q and bring up this menu, and then say you select flames, and you hit 2, it assigns it to that. Um, I don't think anyone knew this. So, say 5 and 6. So now you can't do it for both hands, but you know you can do it for one hand. Okay, so what I'm going to show you in here is how the graphics will look after you get it uh, messed with. Uh, so this trees will be darker in the middle because they're going to have shadows, self shadows, um, and then the game will generally just look better because of the shadows. Right now, I think my FOV is 90. Let me show you how to do that. And if you look at the water, the water's just going to look better as well. Um, beautiful game. So uh, you hit the key next to one is the tilde key. You hit that key. Type in FOV. Uh, it's going to be set at 65. I believe 65 when you get the game. Uh, maybe more or less. But whatever it is, it's pretty terrible. So you hit uh, FOV and then you do 85, 90. I'm going to do 90. Oh, sorry. There. 90 sets it up to where you can see more of the game. It's going to tax your system a little more, but it's going to look a lot better. And... That's about it. I wonder if the inventory thing works. Hold on, I'm going to try something here real quick. Because I don't know if they... No. But you have to do it within the hotkey. That's interesting. From all the stuff I've seen on Twitter, no one has said anything about you can assign it by just hitting the number when selecting it. Maybe that's the first time. Who knows? I'm sure I'm not the first person to figure this out. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoy the game. Uh, thank you. Bye.